Hello friends, I am here again with another episode in my channel but instead of uh, the usual things that I do I am now going to divert it into helping our children their parents and guardians or guardians this coming pandemic school year so i'm going to give lessons in line with uh, what i know and that is on mathematics that uh, of course we know that uh, the children will undergo online education others are given only brochures or notes that is prepared by the teachers and therefore there is a need for the guardians or parents to assist really the children on their studies it's very different when the children are actually uh, inside the classroom wherein it is the teacher that is guiding them in their studies so hopefully that i am going to give a help enlightenment of uh, uh, what i can share in in line with uh, mathematics thus i am going to start this time with in teachers but of course starting with integers the children need to know how come we have in teachers when uh, they are simply given numbers i'm talking about uh, grade 7 students or grade 6 students because I'm very sure uh, in teachers are already given to them while for the higher years it will uh, give you as a review uh, you will still be dealing with uh, this kind of numbers anyway even when you are in the higher years Thank you very much for this chance of I can consider my way of giving a helping hand. So good luck parents, good luck guardians, good luck children to your studies. Be good until you will be back in your classroom. You can see in here an illustration of numbers. Starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and all numbers after 6 are considered counting numbers. Counting because when they ask us to count numbers, we always start from 1. We are not going to start from 5 unless it is specified that we are going to count the numbers starting from 5. When they ask count the numbers, we always start with 1. Aside from saying these are counting numbers, another name for them are called positive numbers. Positive numbers should be preceded by a positive sign. However, that when there is no sign for the numbers, beside the number, it is always considered positive. Aside from considering them as positive or counting numbers, another name for them are natural numbers. Therefore, natural numbers... Positive numbers and counting numbers, we mean 
the same set of numbers. If we are going to add 0 to this set of counting numbers, we have now another name for them. We call them whole numbers. So with the presence of 0, the set of numbers is now considered whole. Meaning to say, you cannot be considered whole without 0, which will mean that these numbers came from 0 or is started from zero. At the left of zero, you can see the same numbers going to the left, but they are preceded with a negative sign. So with this, we consider them now as our negative numbers. Thus, if we are to see our number line from zero going to the right, the numbers are becoming bigger, which will mean then that if we are going to include the negative numbers because they are considered as a part of our integers, the numbers are still becoming bigger their values are becoming bigger. Therefore, we can say that zero is a number bigger than negative one. Final conclusion, we can say that as the numbers approaches right, their values are becoming bigger. Therefore, we can say that any positive number is always greater than any negative number. Comparing then negative 5 and 1, which is bigger, because 1 is found at the right of negative 5, far from its place, 1 is very much bigger than a negative 5. Comparing negative 2 and negative Three, which is bigger because negative 2 is found at the right of negative 3. Negative 2 then is greater than negative 3. Okay, so I hope that is clear. With all these numbers, the negative numbers 0 and the positive numbers, if we are going to consider them as 1, we call them as our integers. Their name now are called integers. So if I am going to ask, what are integers? I hope you can say that integers is a composition of negative and positive numbers, including zero. So if you understood where the integers came from, we are now ready to discuss the operation of knowing what integers are you are now ready to identify relationships that exist between two numbers like if one is greater than the other if it is lesser than or equal to Example number one, it says negative 10 and 2. What relation exists between these two? <clears throat> Sorry. When we are talking about integers on the number line, we did say that any positive number is always greater than a negative number. So what is the relation? that negative 10 is because it is a negative number that negative 10 is lesser than 2 next we have 4 and negative 8 
We know very well that 8 is greater than 4. But we are not talking about 8. It's negative 8. And again, I'd like to remind you what we have in our discussions, that a positive number is always greater than a negative number. So what relation exists? It must be that 4 is greater than negative 8. Next example, negative 7 and negative 9. They are both negative now. So, can we say that uh, negative 7 is lesser than 9 with our idea of numbers 1 to 10? That 9 is greater than 7? Well, that's correct. But we are talking about negative 7 on the number line. If you remember, what is found at the right? Is it negative 7 or negative 9? If you have a clear view of our number line, you can say that negative 7 is found at the right of negative 9. Therefore, the relation that exists is that negative 7 is greater than negative 9. How about 16 and 12? Oh, very easy. It's a positive number. So you can right away say 16 is greater than greater than 12. Next, 0 written in a sim symbol and 0 written as a word. What relation exists as to whether it is written in symbol or is written as word? They mean the same. So when, when they mean the same, we can say that 0 is, yes, it must be that they are equal kahit Paano ang kanilang pagkakasulat? Numero man, symbol man ito, o naisulat as a word, they are considered the same. Next, negative 3 and 3. Well, of course, it's equal, isn't it? Oh, we have to think otherwise. One is negative and the other one is positive. So take note, positive numbers are always greater than negative numbers. So negative 3 is very much lesser than positive 3. Next, negative 5 and the other one is negative 5. What can you say? A number is always equal to itself. Therefore, the relation is equal to. And the last example, one, very small one, and the other one is big one. What relation exists? O maliit man, o malaki ang pagkakasulat, Symbol man o word, alin mang lugar, dito man sa Pilipinas, doon sa Japan, o sa Amerika, o sa Italia. One, in another place, is always equal to itself. Therefore, the relation exists is equal to. So it's easier now to identify the relation that exists between two numbers with our lesson on integers. With this, you are now ready to
take the lesson on the operation of integers and that will be given in my next video. Thank you for learning with me for our students or children going to school. Good luck. Hope that you will feel better when these lessons will be presented by your teacher. Keep studying until you will be back to your classroom. You will be back going to school. Isn't it exciting to go to school? Yes, of course. Bye.